message from Global Christian Relief about famine in Sudan. Today I'm reaching out with an urgent plea on behalf of our Christian family suffering from both persecution and famine in Sudan. I want to share Fatima's heart-rending story. Dear brothers and sisters, I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The situation has become extremely dire. People have run out of food, clothes, and other necessities. A widow with four children tried to return home but lost two of her children along the way. Her daughter was violated and killed and her son was also slaughtered. Fatima's account is devastating, but it's the reality for many Christians in Sudan. We can't afford to look the other way. The situation continues to worsen. 10 million people have been displaced within Sudan or fled to neighboring countries. Over half of Sudan's 48 million people face crisis levels of hunger. Christians are being specifically targeted and denied access to aid. We can be the support Fatima and her family need we have an incredible opportunity to work with the local underground church to reach 600 Christian families who are crying out for life-saving food relief during this famine. Remember Isaiah's words, satisfy the needs of the oppressed, then your light will rise in the darkness and your night will become like the noonday. Let's be that light for our brothers and sisters in Sudan today in his service, David Curry. President and CEO, CEO, Global Christian Relief. Every day counts in a famine. Your swift action can save lives. God bless you all, dear friends. Jesus Christ is coming soon. And uh, we know that as we remember the poor, we're remembering our Savior. We're ministering to our Savior. So we want to pray. Father, right now we want to pray for Sudan and those who are hungry. We pray, Lord, as uh, there is such tremendous need that is not being uh, publicized or recognized, Lord, whereas the world wants to emphasize only one other area in the world, they, they're not really focusing, Lord, on the areas with the greatest need. But we pray, Father, brothers and sisters, we'll bless the Christians in Sudan with food, and Lord, bless the organizations that are... Uh, potentially ministering there, such as Global Christian Relief or International uh, Mission Board uh, or any other organizations that might be there. And Father, we pray you touch people's hearts to give at this time, Lord. And we ask you these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer. That calls me from a world of care And bids me at the Father's throne Make all my wants and wishes known In seasons of distress and grief My soul has often found relief And oft escaped the tempter snare by thy return, sweet hour of prayer. I love this second verse, sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer. The joys I feel, the bliss I share of those whose anxious spirits burn with strong desires for thy return. With such I hasten to the place Where God my Savior shows His face And gladly take my station there And wait for the sweet hour of prayer Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer May I thy consolation share Till from Mount Pisgah's lofty height I view my home and take my flight. The robe of this robe of flesh I'll drop and rise to seize the everlasting prize and shout while passing through the air. Farewell, farewell, sweet hour of prayer. The Lord bless you all. Jesus Christ is coming soon. Check the description box for the link.